You know, I've been wearing this half goatee, Fred Durst, chin beard kind of a deal for the best part of 22 years. But there's got to be more to life than this, right? Yeah! You know what? I think I'm gonna grow a beard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm bald. What else am I gonna do? Hipster barista kind of a beard. Yeah. <laughs> a Matthew McConaughey slaying dragon sort of a beard. Yeah. <laughs> a Forrest Gump running for two years sort of a beard. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that's decided. <sighs> well, well, well. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, seven consecutive days without shaving, without trimming, without grooming of any kind. Just this naturally occurring mess growing out of my face. This thing's growing fast. I remember trying to grow a beard a decade ago and it took me a month to get here. And now that's that's just seven days. Lots of testosterone in these cheeks. Whatever poor excuse of a beard I might have had before, I've always shaved the neck part. But not this time. This time I'm going full Neanderthal. The cheeks, the neck, the stash, all of it growing full bore, no trimming for a month. <sighs> All right, over to week two. When that's 14 days of growth, starting to feel properly shipwrecked. I gotta say, the neck part is not killing me as much as it did on the first week, but the stash, the tickles on the lower lip, just the goddamn stash. People are starting to ask me if I'm okay. Is life good? Am I drinking too much? Do I need anything? I need a clipper and a straight razor to get rid of this goddamn stash. Over to week three. Whee! And that is day 21. Look at this. Look at it. I'm this close to look like the poster child for the Canadian branch of the Taliban. Just one more week and then I can start to put some shape into this. I can do this. Come on. Just one more. One more. And here it is in all of its disgusting glory. The first week has been by far the worst. Second week, people start to notice. Are you growing a beard? Oh, that's so cool. My cousin has a beard. Well, let me tell you, by week three, they'll turn on you. You know, he keeps it really, really short. And by the time you get to week four, street hobos would throw spare change at you. Hey man, I think you need it more than I do. <laughs> but on the upside, you may well discover things about you. Look at these downturned corners. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That is one hell of a Wyatt Earp style mustache just waiting to be brought forth into this world. That's a fact. <laughs> Shall I do it? I said throw down, boy. I don't know, one thing at a time. For now, let's clean this up. Oh, oh that feels good. Got the baseline done, got the top line done, bit of a mustache trim along the lip, and it feels much, much better. Oh, that skin feels almost erotic. Well, I guess the plan now is just to keep it clean and keep it growing, baby. I'll see you in a month. And what a difference a month makes. Pretty uneventful, actually, apart from the family stares over Christmas dinner. My mom actually likes it. That was very nice. I think it reminds her of my dad with his unruly Santa Claus bushy beard, <laughs> which is not the compliment she thinks it is. Go. This is as good as a handle I can get over this beard these days. But some morning, this thing flares completely out and I look like a cross between an Irish gangster and a gold rush pioneer. But let's face it, no matter what I try, two months into this thing, is about time to get professional help. Yeah, we'll have a seat. Chair number two, be ready in a second. First professional haircut of any kind for the last 25 years. Right, okay, maybe not as transformative as I hoped it would be, but Got myself a bit of a fade along the sideburns, super sharp angular top line, cleaned up the jawline substantially while keeping most of the chin intact. And my man got rid of a bunch of flyways that were just getting out of control. So I'm calling it, this is the first official bearded look that I'm going for for a couple weeks. Executive style beard, I think it's called. Honestly, I think the next logical step for me is to grow this thick ass cowboy mustache I was talking about. Let's see how that does.
you guys have no idea how long it took to make that joke possible. I mean, first of all, I had to get the stash grow for a long ass time. And then I went to the barber just to get a, a trim on the beard, but the guy was overzealous and took away half the mustache, so I had to grow it twice over. Then I ordered this kangaroo leather hat, but it's sort of too small. Whew. So anyway, that's the sort of kind of Wyatt Earp mustache, which I would need to let it grow for another two months to get anywhere close to Kirk Russell, which <laughs> I'm not gonna do. No, I didn't think so. My kids think I look like Mr. Ellinger from the Paw Patrol. Uh, but hey, I'm glad I did it. I'm not sure how good a look this is. I mean, as soon as I take off the hat, I am deep, deep, deep into hipster territory, which I think I could pull off to some degree if I was an actual hipster. <laughs> but now that I've been down this rabbit hole for two and a half months chasing this one laugh, <laughs> I gotta say, I am done with a stash, man. At least for the time being, it's time to take it off. Plus, I just received Manscaped Beard Hedger Trimmer in the mail today for the purpose of a review, so I think fate is telling me that now is the time to take it back. Clearly, I ain't ready for that Forrest Gump beard just yet. Oh, that sound. <laughs> it's over. It's finished. How strange that all I could think about was to get rid of it. To once again be free to sip a café au lait directly from the cup with neither straw nor cover. To be able to plant a kiss on my wife's lips without her recoiling away, terrorisé. Whenever I look upon the miroir and stare at the empty space in the middle of my visage, I feel incomplet. I feel inconsequential. Half a man at best. In my quest for normalcy, I got rid of the pièce de résistance, my fulcrum, my anchor. A beard sans moustache is but a forest without birds, a summer evening without fireflies, a YouTube video without enough likes. Yeah, boy! I realize now that without it, without you, my cher moustache, all I am left with is a gamer beard. Short trim mustache with a long, unruly neck beard is definitely better for eating, drinking, cuddling with the missus. How about a mustache ride? <laughs> but I must admit, it does feel like only half of a beard. The cheap, easy to maintain half. Mad respect for all the handlebar mustachios out there. Epic. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, we are definitely inching towards the end here. I can feel it in the air. Spring is just around the corner here in godforsaken Canada. So I'm thinking it's time to start trimming things down as we head towards the finish line. As it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, even that half and half trim seems to be too much, too long, too hairy for the wife. Even this is getting complaints now. Mm. Alas, I'm afraid this is where this adventure comes to a close. Aww. I mean, we laughed, we scratched, we almost got divorced. <laughs> what a thrill. I must say, I'm glad I did this. I mean, what a throve of discoveries. First. Daddy can grow one mean bushy lumberjack beard, which I did not suspect I could do before. Second, growing a respectable mustache is an art form and a discipline all of its own. Nothing but respect for those who do it full time, several years in a row. Burt Reynolds, Tom Select, Sam Elliott, all goddamn studs in my eyes forever. <laughs> For now, I think the wife wants me to get back to the Fred Durst thing, but I don't know, man. Which beard style do you think I wore best? Maybe early stubbles? Maybe the executive style? How about that Kirk Russell wannabe mustache, right? Let me know in the comments below. 
I'll take that under advisement as soon as fall comes around and winter starts rearing its ugly head again. This won't be the last time I grow a beard. Oh my gosh. Until then, thanks for watching and uh, keep growing, baby. Bye now. Au revoir. See you soon. I love you, even if you hate my beard.